Today, let's talk about mobile hyperlapse. In this video, I will teach you how to shoot hyperlapse using your smartphone and I will guide you towards the editing process. So most of the time, I create my hyperlapse using handheld only. But to make ourselves comfortable in this tutorial, we will use a tripod and a mobile phone clip. So to start, attach your smartphone to the clip, put it on our tripod, and find a perfect place to do the hyperlapse. So here's a quick guide on how to spot a perfect place for hyperlapse. First, make sure that your pathway is clear and spacious. And second, make sure that it has a lot of straight lines and intersecting lines especially on the center. So let's start by going to the spot where we want our hyperlapse to end. So right here. And now let's go to the point where we want to start. And while doing that, count your number of steps so that later we can estimate how many seconds our hyperlapse would be. So we will use Yamera for this tutorial. It's a pro camera app and I found that this is the best app for what we are going to do. And for our tracking point, let's use an electrical tape, cut a small part, then put it on the top center of the screen. And when it's all done, it's time to set our exposure. Let's open the app, click on exposure, then tap the locked exposure. Same goes to white balance. Click the white balance tab, then tap on the locked button. And now let's start shooting our hyperlapse. And for each shot, let's make the top of the cross as our tracking point. So for the first photo, make sure that the electrical tape is pointing at the top of the cross. And always turn on your grids before you shoot to check if each of your shots are leveled before you take the photo. Now let's take a photo, take a step forward, wait for about 5 to 10 seconds, and before you take the next shot, make sure that the electrical tape is pointing on the top of the cross. Let's take a shot again and let's do it until we reach our end point. So as we end the shoot, we have a total of 53 shots divided by 24 frames which means we'll have a 2.2 seconds of hyperlapse. Now let's proceed to the editing and we're using the Adobe Premiere Pro because if you really want a smooth hyperlapse, we have to take advantage of what we did earlier. We used a tripod, grids, and a tracking point so that means that a shot is a perfect candidate for using the warp stabilizer effect in Premiere Pro. So before we import our shots, let's go to edit. Preferences, General, and make sure that the still image default duration is set to 1. Click OK. Now let's import our shots. And let's fix its rotation. Since the photos are upside down, let's put a value of 180 to the rotation. Then let's right click to the first image, select set to frame size, then let's scale our footage until the black bars on the side disappears. And once we're all done, let's copy the adjustments, select all of our photos, then click Ctrl plus V on your keyboard to paste. And now that everything is set, let's try to play the before. So it's very shaky. And now let's put the warp stabilizer effect. But before that, let's nest our photos to make it a single footage. Now let's go to effects, search for warp stabilizer, then let's put it on our clip. Lower the value for about um, 15%. And now here's the after. So before I end this video, I would like to give you a little tip about sound effects. So we all know a saying that a good video is 50% video and 50% audio. Well, that's true. And as you noticed on my videos, a lot of my transitions and drone shots are driven by crazy sound effects. So with that said, I would like to thank Epidemic Sound for providing the best music and sound effects for my videos. Because the right sound effects at the right time makes a huge difference and can make your videos come to life by enhancing every moment and stories that you are trying to tell.
Epidemic Sound is a library that provides high quality music and sound effects for creators. So when using sound effects, check your shot's composition to know what kind of sound effects we should use. Let's take this drone shot for example. So we have the ocean and we have the trees. So everything I need was downloaded from Epidemic Sound library. And here's without sound effects. And here's with the sound effects. And by the way, their library is super user friendly, which means finding music and sound effects is now easier and quicker because of their improved search engine and categorization. And lastly, Epidemic Sound is extending their library to an overall of 90,000 royalty free high quality sound effects. So if you want the music and sound effects I use, you can check the link in my description to avail a 30 day free trial. So that's it for our video. I hope that you've enjoyed and liked this one because for the next one, we we are doing another video for mobile or smartphone users again. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want. I hope to see you on the next one and God bless.